Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Harwood and I have the best job in the entire world. I'm the Director of Children's Ministries here at Sam Jones Memorial United Methodist Church. For my devotion today, I wanted to share with you a Bible verse that God laid on my heart last week. One night when I couldn't sleep, I felt God leading me to John chapter 11 verse 35. Jesus wept. When I woke up and opened my Bible and I turned to John 11. You see, in this story, you have Lazarus, who has just passed away, and his sisters, Mary and Martha, who were dear friends of Jesus. Jesus had told his disciples that he was going to raise Lazarus from the dead. He greets Martha, and he calls for Mary, and Mary comes to greet him. We're going to pick up there, starting with John chapter 11, verse 32. When Mary arrived where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. When God saw her calling and the Jews who had come with her calling also, he was deeply disturbed and troubled. He asked, where have you laid him? They replied, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to cry. The Jews said, see how much he loved him. His story gave me a lot of peace. Jesus knew that their situation was temporary, but still he cried. My study Bible reads, the reality of Jesus' humanity and the depth of his love is revealed. Even though it was temporary, Jesus wept with his friends. There have been times in the past week where I've had the chance to weep with friends, to call each other and to help carry each other's burdens. He is here for every one of us when we feel discouraged or unsure of the road ahead. He is here to weep with us in the valley when we need it. But we also have the benefit of being Easter people. We know the story of resurrection, the story of hope when things seem hopeless. I've also had the chance to rejoice with friends this week, to rejoice as our Sam Jones kids have poured into scriptures for their Bible challenge, to rejoice over families coming together at the dinner table, to see the strong spirit of our healthcare heroes, and our teachers and our school cafeteria staff as they find new ways to minister to our community, to laugh as our church staff encourages each other through uplifting messages. We as followers of Jesus know the power of resurrection. We know the one who redeems hard, impossible situations. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, give us the strength to weep with those who need it and to help carry each other's burdens. Remind us to turn to you, the giver of hope, when we feel hopeless. Dear Lord, help us never forget that we are Easter people, and you are the Redeemer of all things. We lift our church and our community to you, Lord, in your holy and precious name. Amen. Thank you.